First at 11, the statewide search for a missing newborn intensifies. Volunteers joining law enforcement to try to find baby Andrew. The story began unfolding this time last week when three of Andrew's family members were found murdered. His father later killing himself. Yet tonight there is a sliver of new hope that baby Andrew is with someone somewhere alive. CBS 4's Hank Tester is working our top story live in Southwest Miami Dade. Hank. Well, a number of family and friends came into this funeral home tonight to remember, to view uh, the three that have been killed in this tragedy. Meanwhile, this search went on in the Everglades for this young man. Let's take a look. Family, friends make their way into the Memorial Plan funeral home on Coral Way. A little boy's mother, a grandmother, and great-grandmother shot and killed last Tuesday. Andrew Caballero. A week old at the time, missing. The suspect in the shooting and disappearance of little Andrew is his father, Ernesto Caballero, who took his own life in a wooded area off a rural highway north of Tampa. No sign of Andrew, still missing. We've got a tiny, tiny baby, and we, can, we know the uh, animal alligator activity and stuff could uh, certainly hinder what we're doing. Near the Miami-Dade Collier County line, off Highway 41, 75 miles from the scene of the triple murder, an intensive search for the little boy. Local and state law enforcement and volunteers involved. So was the FBI. Former FBI agent Nelson Barbosa. What the FBI will do is that they will gather as much as possible information regarding any family member, anyone that may have been close to the father of this baby. The hope the child was left with someone associated with the family. The concern was a child spirited out of the country. The search area is close to the path that Ernesto Caballero took from southwest Miami-Dade to north of Tampa, where his body was found. This night, family members telling us that God will get them through the tragedy. And at the search scene, yeah, I hope they find what they're looking for because for that to happen for a little baby and I mean a family, I pray for the family, you know, that, you know, they find them safer. And I, I got grandkids myself. Well, the search wound up uh, before dark. No sign of little Andrew. Uh, we can tell you that uh, information is on our website for a GoFundMe page. There will be a funeral tomorrow. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.